Hi guys and welcome to this stable diffusion installation guide. This will be a two part tutorial. In the first part, I'll be showing you how to install the stable diffusion interface. And in the second part, we will be installing the control net that you need to create images. So you're going to need a few things before we start the installation. And those few things are going to be a hugging face account, a GitHub account. Don't worry. Those things are just uh, places where you download tools for the specific software. So they're essentially uh, coding tools. And then we're going to also get uh, Git for windows and Python. So to get started, we are going to download Git for Windows. So you're going to come to gitforwindows.org and just click download. So click keep. Run that. Click yes. Next, 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 next. All the standard things. Once that has installed, we're going to just untick this one and launch Git Bash. Okay, so here it is over here and we are just going to minimize that for the moment. So we are finished with this page. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to huggingface.co. Over there, you just need to set up a free account so that you can download the tools that we need for the installation. So once you have done that, just uh, log in and leave it open like I have it over here. Then once you have completed that step, we're going to go to the next step and that's to have a GitHub account. And that's essentially exactly the same thing as before. It's just to download tools for the software. Once you have that, leave it open like I have it over here and we're going to move over to the Python installation. So you're going to go to python.org uh, downloads and we are going to download Python version 3.10. Why 3.10? Because the latest release of 3.11.4 is not compatible with the Stable Diffusion installer for the moment. I'm pretty sure they're going to change it in the future, but I've already tested it and it creates or generates errors. So we are going to go down to Python version 3.10 and we're going to download that. Once you get to this page, we are going to scroll down to the bottom and go to windows installer 64 bit select that same as before run that and over here we have a very important thing that you need to do and you need to go to add python exe because if you do not select that it's not going to work when you install your stable diffusion so once you have selected that click install now click yes Okay, so the setup was successful and we are going to close that and we can close our uh, Python site as well. So once you have completed those four steps, setting up a Hugging Face account, a GitHub account, installing the Git uh, for Windows and the Python, we are going to start with the installation. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to our drive, find a drive that has a reasonable amount of space because some of the files are going to be five gigabytes, uh, four gigabytes, and you're going to need to download a few of those. So first thing we need to do over here is we are going to create a folder called AI, like I have over here, and you're going to click copy. Next thing we are going to do is we're going to come down to our Git bash over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type CD for command space and we are going to right click and paste. Okay. After that, we're going to press enter. And now we have this connecting to our folder over there. After we have completed this step, we are going to go to our GitHub site and we are going to search for automatic 11.11 so, so we're going to go to this one so automatic 11.11 stable diffusion web UI 
and over here in the green box we are going to click on that and you're going to get a code over here so we are going to copy that code once you have copied that code we are going to go back to our git bash and we are going to type the following git clone and paste that address that we have over here and it's going to install the ui after that has completed we are going to go to our hugging face site and we are going to type stable diffusion and over here you're going to see a few different models that you can download and for the moment we are going to choose the 1.4 original afterwards you can download all of them and when you're generating images you can just choose between the different engines these are essentially just engines that allow you to generate in different uh, styles so we're going to click on this one and once this has loaded we are going to go and download this checkpoint file so click on that okay so once this file has downloaded we are going to just go to show in folder and we are going to cut that one and go to c drive find your ai folder stable diffusion and find models inside of models we are going to go to stable diffusion and paste that inside here okay once that is pasted we are going to go back and we are going to scroll down till we find this batch file once we have found this batch file we are going to run that and that is going to set everything up this can take up to 30 minutes, so don't worry if it's taking a long time on your machine. okay so once that's finished you're going to see this web address over here which you can copy by pressing ctrl v and paste that into your web browser okay we're going to press ctrl v and press enter and there you have your stable diffusion already installed so over here is that checkpoint file that you downloaded earlier once you download the other ones and put them in the same directory you can choose between them and this is where you put in your prompts and all of those things next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to add the control net over here all right see you in the next video